Hey, welcome back guys. This is Jason, KM4ACK, here at Field Day 2022. And I want to introduce you to Sparky, and let's take a quick look at his setup. Sparky, what was your call sign? Kilo Echo 4 QGF, quickly going FUBAR. <laughs> All right, fantastic. So what I'm gonna do guys, I wanna hand him the microphone more or less, and I'm gonna flip the camera around and we're he's gonna kinda walk us through his setup here. I wanna take a look at his radios. He's got a really uh, unique antenna, and then we'll take a look at his accommodations for staying overnight here. So let's get right to it. All right, so Sparky, go ahead and tell us a little bit about the setup that you've got going on here. Talk about the radios first. Are you running uh, HF and two meter or are you just running uh, HF only? At this point, we're just running HF only. We can do anything from essentially DC to daylight with the cur current setup that we're running, but we're, we're settling, settling into HF for right now. Okay, outstanding. So what two radios do you have that you're running here? I'm running a couple of old, older school radios. One's the, uh, the FT100D by Yesu and also the FT817 also by, by Yesu. I've got that 817, I love that rig. Now, I want to walk out and take a look at your uh, antenna. One in particular that uh, you don't see a lot of and I want you to tell us a little bit about it. Sure. All right, so this is the antenna that I want you guys to see. I've heard about it, kind of seen them online, but never seen one in person. So Sparky, go ahead and walk us through a little bit about this antenna and what it is and what it's capable of. So this is the uh, this is the manually tuned outbacker antenna, and this is kind of the lowest common denominator. I won't say bomb proof. We'll we'll call it firefighter resistant uh, antenna. And what this does is rather than doing all the magic of electronic tuner, this allows you to choose your band manually and match that up to what you're dialing in on the radio. You can then adjust your SWR with the whip there at the top for minimum SWR, but you'll choose each one of these pick points for the band that you're going to be operating on okay. and it is, it is just absolutely simple um, again not bomb proof just firefighter resistant so just move the tap to the to the next point and you're on a you've just changed bands just move your tap to the to the band you're operating on and you're ready to ride all right guys let's take a quick look at the accommodations he has here for this evening at field day can you tell us a little bit about the camper itself so the camper is a Palomino Rogue. The model is an EA1, uh, and it is sitting on sitting on my pickup truck. And the wife and I were actually looking for something that was small. And the description I give to everybody is: this is Motel 6. It's everything you need and nothing you don't. This is a terrific place for us to lay our head at night, to cook a small meal, and to be able to sit out of the weather if need be. But we look at the camper as the camper is the the place where we spend a little time. The destination is where we're really going to spend everything that we're doing and that's dovetails nicely with field day because everything operates outside we're outside with our stations and everything else so this is just where we're going to spend that spend that inside time outstanding and if you don't mind can we take a quick peek inside and let you uh tell us a little bit about that as well sure okay folks so this is the everything everything you need nothing you don't it's a three-way dometic fridge so it runs off lp dc and ac uh, and you can set that up manually or to do automatically fail over to each one of those modes. You've got a two burner stove, a one cubic foot sink. Uh, it comes from the factory with an eight to 10 gallon fresh water tank. I've augmented that and upgraded that to, to 17. So you've got additional fresh water storage. Uh, it has a, a point of use water heater and also heat for inside. And it's got AC on the roof to uh, keep it nice and tenable when things get a, get a little moist and heated outside. All right, so go ahead and tell me a little bit about this setup here, this utility storage that you've got. So this is looking behind the curtain. Under this seat is where uh, where some of the magic happens. It comes from the factory with a uh, with a, a group 24 battery and and the eight to 10 gallon fresh water tank. We've augmented that. We've done a little woodworking uh, to upgrade it a little bit. Uh, took that uh, group 24 battery out and added 200 amp hour AGM batteries to it. Uh, we've also added seven gallons of additional additional potable water storage. We've also upgraded the solar controller for the 100 watt panel on the roof to an MPPT Renergy controller uh, that's handling that. And I've got an energy uh, power management system that tells me uh, tells me the status of the battery. And then I see you've got uh, what is that? That looks like a full queen size bed up above there. Um, I think it's what they call an RV queen, but uh, there's plenty of room for for me and the wife. And uh, where you see the blinds is also a sunroof. So at night, if you want to spin around and look at the stars, if the weather uh, if the weather accommodates, you're, uh, you can you can certainly do so. All right, guys, there you have it. There's a look at his station. 
appreciate you guys tuning in today. I appreciate you taking the time and showing us around. Happy to, sir. We'll see you guys on the next one. Until then, 7-3. All right, guys, let's take a look at the accommodations that he has here for tonight. Uh, to, 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 let's try that again. Sure. <laughs> take two. Uh, <laughs> that might make the outtake real. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and that's it. Okay. Make me look good. Thank you.